Get for out of here, folks. This is Hutch and Such here. And today, as you can see, we got the multiverse green arrow from the CW from the arena as reward. I have him as a level three star. And today we're gonna upgrade him and see him taking to some Black new fights canary. and show you what all he can do for you. First off, we got Black Canary, who needs to go up to a three star. There you go. She's getting stronger and stronger. She's up to 9,600. Let's buy her passive. And then let's buy her talent. And then we're off to the races. Because I got things to do. Alright. There you go. We re-roll. We got really nothing. No re-rolls. Goodness for us. But alright. What we are down to business here for is we're gonna go back to the home page and we're gonna check my inbox and we're gonna get my rewards as you can see I got 160 shards that'll give me a level 3 green arrow which is awesome alright now let's go back to the roster and let's go to green arrow and get him going alright cuz I got a lot of tech I'm going to boost him today. This is going to be my biggest boost ever for a new character. Alright. And here we go. He's three star. Let's go to his ability. Star City's Oliver Queen utilizes his wealth of resources to grant fellow multiverse teammates the ability to power drain. In addition, power drains performed by team members of any class will steal the power from the opponent. So there you go, he can power drain, and it's going to be pretty interesting to see. I don't really show it in this video, I'm going over his abilities. And right now, let's get his talents. Let's get him to be strong. Alright, this is going to be a really good character whenever I get through with him today. Alright, let's reroll one of them, and... As a matter of the way it goes, we just don't get anything better. Let's go back to the arena and get his gear. Once I get his gear, I'll bump his gear up. I got some shatters for him today. Now, I'm not going to say he's going to be the most awesome green arrow, but he's going to be first day character, the best I've had. All right. So let's go over here, find all of his stuff in the arena store there you go we have the hood let's get the hood and then let's go back and get the rest of it I'm having to put off getting Captain Cold for all this good stuff that I'm getting today but I, I think it's worth the wait. Next time I can get Captain Cold and his gear as well. I've been building Captain Cold for a while. But like I said, I'm going to put it off. I'm going to get the gear for the Green Arrow. Got two pieces left to get. Let's go ahead and get the boots. Then go back for the bow. And if you've not built up any characters or you're just starting the game, this is a good little tutorial on how to build your characters. I mean, you can't readily go and get the gear for every character, but, you know, if you are getting the ones from the arena, you can. But you use your shatters that you have from your other uh, gear and everything, so you can shatter it or you can upgrade. I'm going to upgrade. Uh, go to all the way to number five on each piece because I got that much uh, Shatters to do it with So that's looking pretty good. Let's turn it on. Let's get the next one and turn it on That way I won't shatter it or something another by accident so Go ahead and upgrade Only got one reroll I would reroll more Just to see what I have but 
a little short on rerolls today. There you see, he's all the way to five. Let's upgrade that reroll though. And there you go, I got a good reroll with the health there. That's gonna boost him up. See, he's already at 2,900, and I haven't even got this party started yet. But let's keep on rolling with it. We got to put this one up to five. And the gear really helps. I'm been gonna start working on my gear on more of my characters. Trying to get them past 10 or higher. And hopefully I can keep on working it and get some of them up to 60. Because they actually changed their uh, colors and highlights and stuff like that. It's really cool to see the uh, gear once it gets upgraded all the way to 60. It's expensive and it's a lot of work. And there's a lot of farming in the campaign to get some of the uh, shatters at a higher shatter rate. You had to be in the fours and fives and six and sevens and all the way up to eight. The higher you are in your campaign, I would suggest going back every day and getting um, some shards and uh, stuff from Heroic just so you can get them up. All right, let's go put some XP on here. I got the XP for the tech just the other day. And as you can see, he is going all the way up to 31. He's at 11,000 right now. Let's go ahead and put all the generics on there. As well, get rid of the generics. They're not very powerful. They're kind of low. They all be lucky to get it all the way to the end as far with as few generics I have. Alright. Just a few more. Like I said, I didn't even make it to the end of the bar. Put one arcane on there, and there you go. I'm at 7,200 and level 32 green arrow. Alright, and as you can see, he has a uh, green arrow fires and an electric arrow from crouching stance drains power from his opponents. That's his ability. The ability bar should have went down on here. I don't know if she blocked it or what. It looked like it hit her. There it goes. Shouldn't handle Thor. It did go down. It, oh no, she threw something too. I don't know if it exactly went down or not. Alright, let's see. The bow poke. At close range, Green Arrow swings his bow, knocking away his opponents. Alright, this is a pretty cool move. It has a lot of action to it. I think you're gonna like this one. That was awesome. Two hits and then a poke. Alright, and then we have the Fire Arrow. Ollie launches his opponent for a mid-air attack for a bow, for a burning arrow that deals damage over time. This is a DOT. And it's a number three it takes. It takes seven to get those and four for the others. So your ability bar has to come all the way to seven to get it. All right, there he is and all his goodness. And it looks just like the guy from the CW, which is on Thursday nights. And if you like this video, remember to hit a like and subscribe for Hutch and Such. There's more Injustice 2 videos at Hutch and Such. And remember, I'm going to have Twitter coming pretty soon. I'm going to try to get signed up on it this week so I can let y'all get to following me and I can let you know when my videos come out. Thanks for watching.